research done into the benefits of standing while you work rather than sitting down all day. I thought it was just a fad that the media were hyping up until I tried it for myself when the company that I worked for back in New Zealand moved into a new office that had electronic sit to stand desk so that mean you just pushed a button and it moved from a sitting position to a standing position. I was surprised to discover that the best way for me to work was to alternate between sitting and standing throughout the day. Not only does it have health benefits like reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease or diabetes when compared to sitting down all day, but also I found it helped me focus a lot more too. However, since moving to London I have not had a standing desk and I really missed it. They can be really expensive to buy, but I've finally worked out a way to make my own from putting together a few different pieces of IKEA furniture, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So my boyfriend Mark and I share a desk, it's a 2 meter long Linmon tabletop so there's enough room for both of us. It's got addles, legs, and in the middle we've got a set of Alex drawers. Pretty much as soon as he moved in, Mark worked out that the lac coffee table was the perfect height to put on top and make a standing desk for him, but sadly he's much taller than me, so it was definitely too high for me to get the same thing. Posture is really important with a standing desk, and you need one that's at the perfect height so your elbows can be about 90 degrees while you're typing. So after some extensive searching, I discovered this add-on to make my side of the desk into a standing desk as well. This is called the Besta, and it's a frame that's meant to either have feet on it to sit on the ground or be hung up on the wall as a shelf. However, when I put it on top of my desk without the feet, it makes for a near perfect surface for me to work at standing up. I think it's like one centimeter too high for me, but I'm happy with it. It's working out well, and it means that I can stand in the morning and the evening when I work on my side projects since I sit down all day at work. If I need to sit down at home though, I can easily just push it over and bring my chair around, which is what I tend to do when I record podcasts, for example. So if this video has got you curious about trying out a standing desk for yourself, here are some tips for making one. What you need to do is measure from the ground to just below your elbow to work out the height of the surface you're going to need, and then you need to find furniture that you can put together to make something that's that height. Generally a desk plus something like a coffee table or a bookshelf will work best because they've got like a nice big wide flat surface at the top for you to put your laptop on. Look out for things you can adjust like the Galant desk is pretty good because it's got adjustable legs that means you can easily get exactly the height you need when you put your like fixed piece of furniture on top. And you can always add a shelf like this or even stand on the shelf if the options you find are only a few centimeters out to add a bit more height to either you or the desk. I would definitely advise easing into the standing way of working because it is quite different if you're used to sitting down all the time so maybe just start with like an hour block of standing at a time. Just like sitting down all day isn't good for you, standing all day isn't good either because it can cause back and knee problems so I think that what I've read is health professionals recommend a mix of the both which is exactly what I do. I avoid getting sore feet or a sore back or anything by standing for the first few hours of the day then sitting for a bit and then standing again and so on. Movement like that is really good for your body and I think that's why it helps me focus more and keeps me more alert. Let me know if you've ever tried a standing desk before or if perhaps you might want to try one now after seeing this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this odd little IKEA hack. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me and I will see you next week for a design video. Bye!